Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel guys, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video we're gonna do your weekly tarot reading for uh, July 18th up until July 24th, 2022nd and uh, if you find yourself interested having a personal reading with me uh, you can always go to uh, my website where on the very front page uh, you can see full list of my services and uh, as well their pricing. So let's uh, just do the cut and uh, see what we got. Uh, first card for you that is going to be the ace of, uh, of not of wands but that's the ace of cups okay so the ace of cups it's the first one followed by the second card for you which stands as the six of uh, cups followed by the third one which represents it's represented by the queen of wands and uh, the final card for you Virgo that stands as uh, the fool, right? So these are the four cards for you. Those four cards. Well, Virgo, where can I even begin with? Uh, with your week, that is. Uh, the, the first thing that when I drew these cards that came to my mind was, oh my God, someone new. Probably that came as a friend or as a new colleague at work well your interactions at least throughout this particular week are not going to be only with incentive of doing business and we can definitely see that into the six of uh, into the six of cups which is uh, showing that uh, the emotional and physical attachment or rather like attraction so to speak is going to grow a little bit out of hand a little bit out of control a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be at least for the time being that is and definitely through the environment which is the ace of cups here we can see that the love for life itself kind of like settles down and you may ask yourself then why this love is coming with the appearance of that individual which is the queen of wands now queen of wands doesn't have to be a female uh, it could be as well a male uh, court cards are showing archetypes so uh, it's it comes up because this person or that is finally a, a person who comes up into your environment or become more pronounced into your environment and it seems that they have the right answers they have the right say they have the right attitude they have the right approach they do everything right according to you uh, they know how to flirt with you they know what to say when you are in uh, emotional distress they know how to have fun with you and it's just the compatibility is going to seem undeniable is going to seem um, uh, indomitable out there and uh, most likely this is going to show up as a, either a friend or a co-worker at first. It is because they have that very astute, um, for work it is a business sense, but when it comes to social interactions, they are kind of like, uh, they seem to be a person for everybody. What I mean is that they are, when they enter into a social circle, they come uh, they, they storm it out, they come as a storm, everybody seeks their attention, everybody is mesmerized and thrilled by them, but in your case it seems that you are going to get their attention. Maybe everybody will want their attention, but you Virgo, are going to be the one who gets it, at least for the time being, at least for the duration of that particular week. And whatever that person shows up for you, that Queen of Wands, it's going to transcend your experience. Is going to transcend your experience into either your career if this is the place where that person shows up it's going to transcend it into your social circle if that if that is the place where that person shows up or it's going to transcend it into your love life if that person it is where it shows up the thing with the environment here that we do have of the three or, or not the three but the ace of cups i'm sorry it is that this was the environment where you were the most unhappy with or straight away the environment that you lost hope for for example you may have lost hope that you're ever going to find love or you have lost hope that you're ever going to find a business partner or you have lost hope that you're ever going to find a faithful friend and so on and so forth 
while your hope is to be restored and the spot in your heart that it was emptied through the betrayal of somebody or through the un, uh, <clears throat> not unfaithful but uh, unpleasant chain of circumstances is going to be refilled back again and nothing is going to look the same when seen through the overflowing joy that that person brings into your life. Bottom line, it is that before this week, you saw an overwhelming problem, like the loss of hope that you're ever going to find love. It's an overwhelming problem, right? The loss of hope that you're ever going to get to uh, have somebody to work with very well, it's also an overwhelming problem. The loss of hope that you're ever going to find a good friend is also an overwhelming pro problem. This problem will become irrelevant with the appearance of this person it's because it's no longer a problem anymore. So let's talk about a little bit about this uh, Queen of Wands here. Uh, as an individual, <clears throat> they have a very profound understanding into the human nature. And that is how they always have the right answers. So as soon as they see you and they spend about 10 to 20 minutes with you, they immediately are going to know what kind of a person you are. What, what needs do you have, okay, where, where are your pros, or where are your pros, I'm sorry, where are your cons, and they're going to act accordingly, uh, accordingly about it. That's why these people are usually very good uh, with leading others, is because they are capable to place everybody into the field and into the sphere where that person is going to feel uh, on fire, literally. So whether you do business together or whether you are friends, you can expect great things to come uh, from that cooperation. And one of these great things, of course, it could be a intimate relationship. Uh, that is something that you have to choose to do, though. Uh, it is marked by only minor, minor arcana and minor arcana gives you the freedom of choice literally so the incentive is going to be there the environment is going to be there the physical and emotional attraction is going to be there even it will feel uh it will feel scary all right it will feel a bit too good to be true it will feel like a little bit ahead of yourself that you are a little bit ahead of yourself with that and um I'm not saying that it's going to be scary or it's going to feel scary to you, but it's going to be scary of how fast, how rapidly it does evolve. And you may decide throughout this week, OK, I'm going to put myself a boundaries. I do business with this person, nothing more, nothing less. Or you may say to yourself, all right, so let's see where that path leads to whichever the case as the fool stands into the end of your reading that is the summary that is the not the summary but the um let's put it that way the results of uh, of the events of the week everybody knows that the fool is a new beginning but what seldom is said it is that this is a new beginning bearing no weight from the past Meaning that whatever you are to do with this person, whatever this new overflowing joy is, is not going to be spoiled, tainted by experiences from the past. Meaning, if that's a business uh, cooperation that you're going to have with this uh, individual, it's not going to have the problems with any business cooperation you had up until this point. This is going to be a brand new experience, like you are reborn. Uh, same thing about relationship, this this re, uh, intimate relationship. This intimate relationship will, ha will be nothing alike anything you have experienced up until this point. And that's why it can go as far as you allow it to go. Important thing though, whatever you decide that you are going to do as a cooperation and as a unity with that Queen of Wands individual, it needs to be um, pure intentions. It needs to be under the... Uh, the incentive of pure intentions and it has to come spontaneous if you are forcing yourself to do it just because you heard that there is a uh, a potency here to be uh, to be in a flawless intimate relationship with this individual but you do not feel it doesn't come to you spontaneously then don't do it guys it's not gonna go well for you so whatever spontaneously comes to you that you have to be with this individual that's your path that's your choice. This is where you should lean to. This is the path that you should see 
where it leads you to and so with that said that was your uh, weekly tarot reading Virgo hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye